Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Susan with Blue Vinyl Stickers and today we will be making DIY cake toppers. A uh, fun, easy project to do. Uh, cut it in cardstock, cut it in glitter cardstock. Makes a beautiful addition to the top of any cake. Today we're going to be making a happy birthday uh, cake topper, but you can write anything you want in that cake topper. It is yours. It's your DIY. So before we get started, I need to let you know that this is the Silhouette Business Edition of the software. This is version 4.3.370. You can do this with any version of the software you would like. You do need to have um, at least the designer version and above to be able to do some of the features that I will be showing you. So let's go ahead and get started. So I am going to open up the Flexi Shapes and pull out a circle. And as you've noticed, there's no grid on my screen. We don't need a grid for this particular design. It only gets in the way. Um, and so I went ahead and turned it off. Now, if you're new to Silhouette and you don't know how to turn off your grid, come up here to the uh, uh, panel setup, page panel setup, and have your grid settings. Here's show grid. Click it on or click it off and we're going to go ahead and click it off. Now I am still with the flexi uh, shapes here so I'm going to start in the middle and I'm going to pull I'm going to left mouse click and pull out a circle. It doesn't matter how big it is we're just going to pull out a circle. Hit the select tool highlight it right mouse click and say convert to path. Now I have a nice symmetrical circle on my screen but it's too big. So I'm going to come over here to the transform panel and to the uh, scale tool, lock the lock, and I'm going to put in 10 inches. And because this is symmetrical, all I have to do is just on the width or the height, put in the number I want, and then hit enter, and it will size it to what I want. Now, I need to put a uh, second ring on the inside so I can make a compound path so the computer will actually cut uh, a, an outline for my uh, my cake topper or a, a frame if you would wish. Highlight it, right mouse click and say duplicate. Now it is the same size as the one on the inside so I need to make it a little bit smaller so I'm going to say 9.5 and again 9.5 since it's symmetrical just do one hit enter. Highlight them both come over here to the align tool hit center on both of them and then we're going to center them to the page highlight both and just so you see what happens I'm going to put some color in there highlight them both right mouse click and say make a compound path and now we have our outline just as simple as that now right mouse click and say duplicate because I want the look of someone that has uh, circled the uh, words and so that's what I've got now is and just two circles is fine but what I have is if I leave it like this, what will happen is the machine will come and it will cut the back one and it will cut the front one and you'll just have cut up pieces of cardstock all over your mat and that's not what we want. So let me show you so you can see those lines. You take the color out and you see all these lines. It will cut on all of these lines and it will cut out a great big group or a great big uh, uh, section of your cardstock and right here it will fall apart. You don't want that. You want it to be all nice and solid. So to solve that problem, highlight everything, right mouse click and say weld. There we go. There is our circle all welded together. It will cut the outside edge, it will cut the inside edge, and it will cut the moon shape here out. Let me color it in so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. And there is your frame for your um, cake topper. So we're going to go ahead and set that aside. And I'm going to need two things for this cake topper. I'm going to need the words happy birthday and I'm going to need a star. So I'm going to come up here to my library and if you don't have a star in your library, you can just search the internet for a star or you can come over here and you can make a star. But I have one in my library that I like to use. So I'm going to click library and I've already typed in star. 
And here is my special star that I used. So I'm going to right mouse click and say merge. Now if you say open, it will put it on a different screen. We don't want a different screen. We want it on the same screen. So we're going to say merge. And here is my star. Now I know this star is all grouped together because this is the cutting outline for that star. So I'm going to right mouse click and say ungroup because I don't want this star. Um, it I just don't want that star. I just want the outline. We're going to take it and we're going to set it aside right now because we don't need it at the moment. I'm going to come over here and I am going to say happy and then underneath it birthday. And that makes it so I can um, move the words independently of themselves. And you'll see why here in a minute that I need to do that. So I'm going to highlight that and make it bigger. Come over here to, while these are highlighted, come over here to my text style. And I have a font that I am going to be using. It's a nice script font, um, and I'm actually not sure where I got it. Probably from uh, one of the uh, font sites, the paid font sites. I'm going to go ahead and click here on green light script and here is the font that I will be using. Let's make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. Now for this to work we need to have everything joined. If we just go ahead and cut this out of the cardstock the P is going to fall off, the B is going to fall off, and the top of the I is going to fall off. And I want them all nice and joined. So what I'm going to do is I am going to right mouse click and say duplicate and I'm going to duplicate the word happy and you'll see here why in a second I'll tell you why in a second highlight it and we are going to get rid of all of the words or all of the letters except a and now the reason I did that is because I want it to be the same scale as the rest of what I have here so we're going to zoom in And we are going to go ahead and we're going to cut off this join. But before that, I want to show you something uh, very, very important. I'm going to duplicate this letter. And I'm going to make one of them, fill in one of them with a color. Now, in filling in one of them, it makes it a compound path. It makes it a complete path. If I don't fill it in, it's not a complete path and I won't be able to weld it to anything. So watch what happens. I'm going to use the knife tool and I am just going to slice, make a nice slice. And I'm going to make a nice slice here too. Okay? Let me show you what happens. With the compound path, now I have two separate designs. And I can take and I can do anything with these. I can weld them together. Um, I can do anything I want with them. So, see, I put them together. If I highlight both of them and say weld, now it's one, one design. So let's go ahead and back up because I want that separate. But if I come over here to this one that isn't filled in, each one of these is now just a line. I can't do anything with it. I can't weld. It won't weld because this is not a complete compound path. It's open the computer doesn't know where to stop and start. So if you are pulling something apart, it needs to be a compound path before that function will work. So I'm going to highlight these and get rid of it, and I'm going to get rid of this A as well, or what's left of it. Now, I'm going to need four of these. The P, the P, that's one and two. I'm going to need to join the B to the I, and the I to the top of the I. So I'm going to replicate four of these. Come over here to my replicate uh, panel, pull it out, and I am going to hit a row of four. So I need to highlight this, hit a row of four, and there are my four joins. Pull these two down here, pull these two over here. And I'm going to make this big so you can see what I'm doing. 
Now, I'm going to color it in because of what I said before. It needs to be a color. Now, even if I don't color these in, uh, they are um, compound paths and they will weld, uh, but I just wanted to color them in for you. So if I was to slice this off, then the P wouldn't weld to the A. Okay, So watch what happens. I just want to make sure you all know if you don't fill it in, it won't weld because this is open okay this is open but if I color them all in now it's all welded okay so let's un unweld it because I got to put in these two pieces so I'm going to put them in right here So it overlaps here and it overlaps here. I'll grab this one the same way. And I am going to highlight them all. Right mouse click and say weld. And now watch what happens. There we go. We have a nice happy happy. So I'm going to do the same thing down here on where it says birthday. Now, if I put this one up here, it's way, way, way too big. I'm going to take my knife and just cut it in half. And since it's colored in, it is a uh, separate piece. Pull it up here. And I am going to match the angle here with the angle here. So it looks like this is a candle. Now, since this is all... Um, this will be all, all one when I get done. So I need to, and since I haven't done anything with this one, I can select it and I can turn it colors. If I was to ungroup this before I did that, then I would not be able to uh, change them all. I'd have to change them separately. And we're going to right mouse click and say group, or weld, excuse me, weld. So there's something wrong. What happened? There we go. I didn't have them selected. That was the problem. Okay, now, I don't want to resize this one and then resize this one. Uh-oh, they're not the same size. So, before you do that, oops, you weld it. I want to highlight them both together and move them together so they say the same size. Bring back over our frame and bring back our letters and make them about the size you want them while they are grouped together doesn't matter what position they're in or anything right now we just want to make them uh, we want to make the birthday so it will join nicely okay now you can highlight it and i'm going to bring it out just a little bit you see i can do that just grab the handle and just pull it out and so here it's overlapped and here it's overlapped here and this isn't overlapped here but i'll show you how to fix that in a second this one i want to make this just slightly bigger and again i can pull this out okay that's over and that's over this i'm going to have to look and see if it's over so let's see what it looks like. And it is, it might be. Let's do highlight the, the frame and the words. Right mouse click and say weld. And it was, it was enough. Okay, so that happy is all welded into place. And birthday, let's see if we manage to get this this one looks like it's overlapped, but it's not overlapped here. 
and I really don't want to, I could make it bigger, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move some edit points real quick. So this is how you move edit points. We're going to highlight the uh, end of the Y and we're going to click on the edit points and it puts up all these little dots. And now we're just going to go ahead and drag it over. And that's a nice little curve and it goes in there nicely. Highlight it, right mouse click and say weld. And it looks like that and that are all welded together. That and that are all welded together. Now this is going to have a stick on it that uh, will stick into the top of the cupcakes or the top of the cake. I'm going to take the star and I am going to move the star down and put the star in the center of the, uh, the topper here. So I want it in the center, so I'm going to highlight it and highlight the frame, come back over here to my uh, center, and just put center. And it puts it perfectly in the center of the uh, cake topper. Now, I want to weld it in place. Actually, I want to make it just a little bit bigger. And in doing that, it puts the center center, so I highlight them both again and center it. There you go. And weld. And there is going to be your cake topper. And uh, when you place a stick in here, now let me put a, a fake stick in here. I'll put a fake stick in here for you. Oops. There you go. And let's say we make this out of, um, we're going to make this out of glitter. Let's make it out of gold glitter. There is what your um, cake topper is going to look like. All right, I will go ahead and cut one of these and put some pictures here following so you can see what it actually looks like. I don't have any cakes to stick it into, but uh, I'll show you what it looks like here in just a minute. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them uh, below. Uh, if you have not liked or subscribed to uh, this channel, please, please do so. It really does help my algorithm, and uh, I can bring you more and more of these uh, videos. All right, everybody, uh, I'm going to put some pictures uh, here in just a second. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.